distinguished uh, captain and crew and uh, members of the Rice for Water team. We have our Deputy Lord Mayor here and uh, councillors from Port Vila Municipal Council. We have representatives of uh, the government, the tourism office. We have the World Vision and other non-government organizations, the No Plastic Bag Please uh, group and the media. It's a great honor for Race for Water to choose to come to Vanuatu. As uh, was said, because uh, we are sharing the same goals. Vanuatu also is trying to uh, deal with the problem of uh, marine litter or plastic getting into the ocean. And uh, we have started taking steps to do that. Uh, there's a lot of education and awareness that needs to be done. Um, we are doing that, many organizations, and I want to acknowledge the organizations, particularly the, the Department of Environment and Conservation and the non-government organizations who are doing a lot of time and effort to try and educate uh, the population about proper disposal of rubbish and about the negative effects of plastic getting into the environment and especially the ocean. In the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, we are responsible for the implementation of uh, the National Ocean Policy. And uh, Vanuatu is the first country in the Pacific to have a National Oceans Policy, which deals specifically with management of the ocean. And one of the particular objectives is to reduce plastic getting into the ocean, with the aim of eliminating plastic getting into the ocean. So the, the ultimate aim we have is for no plastic to enter the ocean in Vanuatu. We know that it's not just a problem for Vanuatu, it's a problem all over the world, and so we're very thankful for Race for Water for going around and spreading the message in other countries, as well as in Vanuatu. Uh, so, we have, uh, last year, in uh, June, we banned plastic straws and plastic single-use shopping bags and what was the other one? <laughs> Polyspirin takeaway containers and uh, we have been preparing for the next ban and so I want to use the opportunity of this press conference to announce the next ban of items in Vanuatu so uh, About 10 days ago, the cabinet approved the next uh, set of single-use disposable plastic items that will be banned. And these items will be banned from the 1st of December this year. And uh, there's seven items that are being banned from the 1st of December this year. One is the plastic nets and styrofoam trays used in supermarkets to sell vegetables, those will be banned. Also, single-use disposable plastic cutlery, which means plastic knives, forks, spoons. Also, single-use plastic plates. Also, single-use plastic and polystyrene cups. Also, single-use disposable plastic stirrers for coffee and tea. Also plastic egg cutters. And one of the big ones is plastic flowers. Apart from this, there's another item which Ronald is going to ban, which is, uh, has been more controversial, but we will be banning the sale, use and distribution of single-use disposable diapers beginning in December next year, 2020. And we're giving, the ban will be start on the 1st of December this year, and we'll gradually phase it out until it's completely finished by December next year. And part of the cabinet's decision as well was to 
increase the funding for the Department of the Environment, particularly so it can go around and implement and raise awareness about this particular new ban. Um, a lot of awareness will have to be done, especially with the uh, private sector and consumers in the next eight months until we implement the ban comes into effect. We will need to support the work of developing the alternatives, uh, alternatives to these products that we can use. And we will of course continue to monitor the use of plastic with a view to continuing to improve the management of plastic in this country and also to continue to consider bans of further products as probably the most effective way to reduce the plastic is by banning the import into Vanuatu because we manufacture so little plastic here. So I'd like to finish by just saying thank you again to uh, Race for Water for coming here and giving this this uh, initiative by the Vanuatu government, <coughs> this international exposure and uh, to show also to people in Vanuatu that this is not just an issue that Vanuatu is trying to push but in fact there's a huge international uh, initiative and push on right now to make sure we reduce marine litter from all the oceans in all the countries of the world.